Good morning. It says, uh, Jesus says in John chapter 15, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Abide in me and I also will abide in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. If you abide in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. It's good to know who you are. And Jesus tells us who we are today. He says, you're a branch. And you might not think that's very uh, flattering, but uh, actually it really simplifies life for us. A branch only needs to do two things. Number one, the branch needs to stay connected to the vine. It needs to receive its life from the trunk, from the vine itself. It needs to drink deeply from the nutrients and the liquid flowing from the vine. The life of the vine must be in the branch. It needs to hold on there and be joined there and stay connected to the vine. That's what it does on one hand. A branch, is without, a branch without being connected to the vine or the tree is, is just a stick. But when it's connected, it's a living thing. It's a branch. Jesus says, I am the true vine and you, you are the branches. Today, if you're wondering who you are, you're a branch on the Jesus tree, which is a fantastic privilege. He says, if you abide in me and I abide in you, you will bear much fruit. The word abide means to remain, to live. We get the word abode, home from that word. Make your home in Jesus today. Seek him, call upon him, involve him in every decision in your life. Walk with him, worship him, thank him, be grateful to him. Seek his word, listen to him, and you will be abiding in him today. Put all of your trust in him, and draw all your life from him, and you'll be a healthy branch. On the other hand, the branch has another job, and that is to bear fruit, to be useful to this world, to bear fruit that feeds animals and men, and to provide beautiful leaves that are sometimes medicinal and have healing qualities, and the life of a Christian is really two things. One is to walk with Jesus and to have a secret, intimate connection with him where you draw your life from him. The other is to produce fruit that glorifies Jesus Christ and the fruit will come from that life with him. Fruit in a Christian's life comes from walking with Jesus and receiving his life. It comes naturally. The fruit of your life will be good for others to eat. It will be salvation and gospel good news for others. It will be miracles and healing and power and signs and wonders. It will be a godly character that shines the love and compassion of Jesus, helping others, meeting their needs, patiently forgiving them, bearing with them, giving them wisdom, directing them on the right path, showing them the light of God. Those are good fruits to bear. And as you abide in Jesus Christ today, you can be a fruitful vine. But not without some help from the gardener. Jesus says, my father is the gardener. And if no, someone bears no fruit, actually he takes that branch away. He cuts them off. You know, it's no good if you're just leaning against the tree. It's no good if you're pretending to be a Christian. If you're just going to church or you have the name of being a Christian, but you have no vital connecting life with Jesus Christ. There'll be no fruit in your life. There's no reality. You're not a branch. You're a stick. You're dead. Only as you trust in Jesus and reach into him are you a living vine, connect, living branch connected to him and receiving his life. And then you will bear fruit. But even if you do bear fruit, Jesus says, you're going to be pruned. The pruning process is never nice and it's never easy, but it is essential. Sometimes when you feel everything's going right and you're 
bearing fruit for God and you look good and everything's perfect and your family's good and then you feel the sort of pruning knife of the father coming in taking away dead leaves chopping off and receiving sometimes good fruit from you but he harvests it and in those times he doesn't feel good you don't look good no pruned tree or pruned branch looks good he cuts you right back he takes you right back and it's a time of repentance it's a time of cleansing it's a time of sorrow sometimes and hardship and testing but Jesus says this is so that you'll bear even more fruit there are only two options for a vine either you get cut off or you get pruned are they the only options <laughs> yeah they are there are no other options you must submit to the pruning discipline of your father and know today if you're going through a season like that that God's not against you he's for you he's making you more fruitful it's a sign that you're doing well when you come under the discipline of the Lord because he disciplines his children because he loves them and wants them to be more fruitful like Jesus let's pray Lord Jesus we thank you today that you are the vine and we are the branches Lord we choose to reach into you today and to drink deeply from your sap your love your life Jesus we have no life in ourselves when we cut off from you there's nothing in us we have no fruit to offer this world to offer our families to offer the lost only when we're connected to you Jesus help us stay connected to you and help us see that fruit naturally flow through us and then out of us to the world and father we thank you that you're a good father and a good gardener and you know what produces the fruit in our life and if you want to take something away from us take something back from us if you want to make an area of our life more fruitful we submit to your cleaning pruning process today Lord take off our dead leaves so that we can produce more fruit and take our good fruit and harvest it for eternal life and help us uh, tuck into Jesus dive into Jesus hide into Jesus in seasons like that so we can receive more of his life and bear more of his fruit for your glory today in Jesus name Amen